Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the madness surrounding the pre-orders for the new Xbox and PlayStation, and also talking about how I was able to get a pre-order for the new Xbox, which was just crazy, and just talking about all this madness. As seriously, this is all I've been hearing about for the past few days, and the anger and frustration everyone has had with all of these bots and all of the craziness. So without a further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so a few days ago, Sony finally put out the date and the price for the PlayStation 5 and also announced pre-orders being available that day for it, and everyone went out and bought it immediately. Like, seriously, this thing sold out in minutes. Like, I went on trying to get one, couldn't get one, it was sold out that fast and people had bots set up. I'm pretty sure it's called Bounce Alerts. They had this thing set up waiting for it, and it's just been an absolute mess to get one of these. As seriously, it is just not fun when you have to fight bots, and you have to fight scalpers, and you basically have to wake up at like the ass crack of dawn to try to get this thing, or just be insanely lucky, as there's really no other way to get it right now. You have to be either be really lucky, or be faster than a bot, which, yeah, that's not happening. So, it's not easy to get the PlayStation 5 right now. I see these things on Ebay's going for thousands and thousands of dollars, and it is just crazy. Seriously, people are making a lot of money off this PS5, and all they have to do is invest 85 bucks a month for getting one of these bot softwares, or just being insanely lucky trying to sell this thing on Ebay. As seriously, you can make a quick buck. It's crazy. So, yeah, the PlayStation 5 really isn't easy to get a hold of, and I really hope I can get one, but I don't think I'm going to get one this year. Probably I'll find it at some random Target next year like I did with the Switch, which that was another story in its own. That was crazy. So, yeah, uh, PlayStation 5, not easy to get a hold of, and if you guys have gotten a hold of it, a pre-order, you're lucky. Seriously, congrats to you. Gold star. Now, the Xbox, on the other hand, the pre-order they announced early saying it'll be ready on the 22nd at 8 a.m or 9 a.m or somewhere around there and i swooped on trying to get one and couldn't get one <laughs> i couldn't get one but no i could not get the new xbox i really tried like i was on all these places i was looking on sam's club i was looking on walmart i was looking on target gamestop every website the websites were so slow my dad was on there and i was telling him dude just just give up, man. It's not happening. It, it ain't happening, bro. Like, seriously, he's sitting on Best Buy and GameStop, like, for an hour, just waiting in line, waiting in line. I'm like, dude, no, just, it's not happening. And I left, went off to work, and I get a call at work, and I, like, read the ID. I'm like, wait a second, that's my dad's number. And I pick it up, and he's like, you won't believe what I got. And I'm like, oh, no. Is it what I think it is? And yup, I got the Xbox, pretty cool. I don't know why I said, oh no. I should have said, oh yeah. But seriously, I got the new Xbox. He was really lucky. He got in line, I guess, early enough before they sold out on Best Buy and he was able to get it. So your boy got the new Xbox. Don't message me trying to get it for me. I will not. Also, if you guys cannot get a hold of a pre-order for this thing, don't be upset. There'll be restocks, and people will get bored of scalping this thing eventually, and they'll move on to scalp something else like they always do. So turn that frown upside down, and be excited for the next-gen consoles, as they're only a month away. And there's gonna be some awesome launch titles for these things, especially the PlayStation 5. I'm really excited for Sackboy's Adventure and Spider-Man. Seriously, I loved that first Spider-Man game. It was so damn good. I loved it. And I still need to play the DLC for it, so I should probably get a hold of doing that soon. And also, yeah, Sackboy, I'm super excited for that, as I loved Little Big Planet as a little kid. I played it all the time. It was like my game before Minecraft was a thing. I, yeah. So I'm super excited for that one. Um, I, had a, I still have a shelf dedicated to Little Big Planet, my Sackboy plush, the first two games, and I mean, the third one was okay. So I will always remember Little Big Planet. I'm super excited for Sackboy's adventure. Um, Halo, yeah, it's Halo. And so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I don't know why I got an Xbox if I'm really not looking forward to the launch titles for it. I'm more looking forward to the graphics. But I am really looking forward to Call of Duty Cold War. It looks pretty promising, and I think it'll look really nice on the new Xbox. 
and also my PC when I inevitably purchase it for Battle.net, which, oh my god, that thing is so annoying. Battle.net, I, Battle.net, it drives me crazy with the updates. They're huge, and it destroys my PC every time I turn it on. So, yeah, not looking forward to that, so I might just stick with Xbox, but... Yeah, I think it'll be cool. And overall, I'm really excited for next gen. Just make sure you guys save up the money for it. Look forward to it. And don't be upset about this whole scalping thing. As seriously, this whole scalping with the bots, what's it called, bounce alerts, is really annoying. And I overall think that maybe they should have better security and remove some bot purchases. And also maybe and just sort of incorporate the whole CAPTCHA system. Like seriously, I have never appreciated CAPTCHAs as much as I should. I see why they exist now. It can stop stupid stuff like this from happening. Like all they should have is a little button or one of those things where you see which one's a crosswalk to show that you're not a robot. So people aren't going on there and buying 500 PlayStation 5s or just an insane amount of quantities for these things. But I think also they are limiting how many you can buy. I think it's one per person, but people can still get around that. Use a different credit card, put a different address, something like that. People are buying crazy quantities and then they're selling them for tons of money. And people are buying them. I look on eBay, people are buying them because people really want these things. Maybe for their kid, maybe for Christmas, maybe for themselves. Especially during these times where everyone's at home bored with nothing to do. And a PlayStation 5 can really brighten your day when you literally have nothing to do besides sit at home and wait for the sickness to be over. So I can see why people want these things so bad right now. And also this happens with every generation like the Wii and the Xbox 360 and the PS3. This has always happened, you know. I remember it. I I was there when the Xbox One and PS4 first came out and the lines and all of that. I can remember it very vividly. So there's always been a demand for consoles, but right now that demand is doubled or even tripled since everyone is just so bored and willing to just game all day long to pass the days on since there's really nothing else to really do. So I can see that. And also these scalpers are out there trying to make a buck and some of them really are hustling since a lot of people are just really trying to make some extra money so they can stay alive and I can understand that. But seriously, putting people's entertainment and happiness at a price way more than it should be is pretty crazy. And I really hope that those prices do go down and the scalping stops and it just moves on to something else. As seriously, it is kind of annoying to see. And I really hope that you guys will be able to get lucky enough to get one of these things soon. As seriously, I'm excited. It's going to be awesome this next generation. And there's going to be tons of fun games to play. And I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, I think that's really about it. Let me know what console you guys are looking forward to the most. I'm... I don't know. I like them both. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the games on the PS5, but I'm also really looking forward to the graphics on the new Xbox. So we'll have to see. Anyways, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. There were a lot of cuts. I just have to say that now. And I really appreciate myself doing that because recording everything in one long take takes way too much time. It takes hours. So making little cuts here and there, I hope you guys are fine with that as it really shortens the time these videos take and make it more convenient for myself. But anyways, I will see you guys later. I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. And remember, you only live once. See you guys.